Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Hockey Journey Podcast, presented to you by OnlineHockeyTraining.com. I'm your host, Coach Lance Pedlick. So I thought it'd be a good idea for this first episode to give you an overview of what my motivation is for this podcast, the vision I have on what I think it can become, who's it for, and how can you benefit from regularly listening to it. And finally, guests that I'm hoping to interview and topics you can expect to hear about in the near future. So let's get started. At 54 years old, I've had a lot of life experiences. I've had four hockey journeys during my life so far that have shaped me into the person I am today. My first hockey journey was as a player, where I ended up playing Division I hockey for the University of Minnesota, then went on to play 662 professional games, 393 of them in the NHL. The next hockey journey I had was in the coaching sector. I had a 17-year coaching career where I spent eight of those years at the very beginning levels and then worked my way up the coaching ladder, two to four years at each level, ending with my last few years helping out with a high school team. I retired as a USA Hockey Level 5 Master Coach. Also, during this same period of time, I created three hockey-related businesses, two of which I still operate today, so those journeys are still evolving. The final hockey journey I'm currently on is through the eyes of a hockey parent. You see, I have two extremely hockey-passionate boys who were both drafted in the NHL. The youngest playing Division I hockey and the other playing in the NHL. I also have a niece playing Division I hockey and a nephew playing in the NHL as well. So we're kind of a hockey family. I'm going to do a deep dive into each of my journeys very soon. So if I piqued your interest at all, stay tuned. So what's my motivation for this podcast? In close to 20 years, I've invested an enormous amount of time trying to crack the code on how to become really good at hockey. And guess what? When you commit that amount of time trying to learn, understand, experience, and teach, it's humanly impossible not to get really good. I've accomplished a lot over the years, but only because of the knowledge, mentorship, and guidance I had along the way from others. Through in-person conversations, books, DVDs, online videos, and most recently, podcasts. The area I specialize in is stick skill development, stick handling, passing, and shooting. I've gained a knowledge that very few people have. To be able to show any player willing to invest a little weekly self-improvement time into themselves how to elevate their stick skills well beyond average. But here's what you have to understand. It takes an army of people to help you along the way. My motivation is to try to get as many hockey players introduced to my world of stick skill development, but more importantly, the process on how to get to a higher level and acquire the confidence everyone is searching for. Because once you understand the process of how to achieve what you want in life, anything is possible, isn't it? Hockey is a great metaphor for life as there are so many parallels. The exact way you get good at hockey is the exact way you accomplish things and succeed in life. My vision for this podcast is to introduce you to some amazing people who have traveled the road you're on previously and hear their journey. For the last year especially, podcasts have become an energy source for me. Never before in human history has it been easier to gain information, to become more informed and better ourselves. Because whatever it is you're looking to attain, the odds are pretty good that someone has already paved the way, already got what you're chasing, and they're willing to share their story on how they did it. You just have to listen and learn. That's my vision. Lastly, let me spend a minute or two regarding who this podcast is for, how you can benefit from regularly listening to it, and finally, guests that I'm hoping to interview and topics you can expect to hear about in a future episode. No matter how successful a hockey player is or was, they all have a story that are packed with a ton of experiences, many of which were much more challenging to get through than others. My hope is that maybe, just maybe, you'll be able to pick up something from the conversations that will help you avoid or more easily navigate through a difficult situation. Or better yet, find a self-improvement nugget that you can apply to your daily life that will help you achieve things faster, understand the world from a different perspective, and ultimately assist you in becoming a better you. So my hope is that this podcast will connect and resonate with pretty much anyone because it doesn't matter where a person is on their journey, if we stop learning, trying to better ourselves, and improve weekly at something, what's the point? If you wake up each morning, and from that point on, throughout the rest of the day, hockey seems to always be floating around in your mind, then you'll want to hear the stories I'm about to bring you, because the people I'm going to get you in front of are hockey crazy too. My guests will love to help you in your hockey journey, because the race is worth the run, as you'll see. You'll hear stories of determination, resiliency, perseverance, and grit. 
you'll get a deeper understanding on when they found their passion for the sport, what became their process for always advancing a little bit each week, and of course, the amazing achievements they've garnered along the way. As I mentioned earlier, it takes an army of people to help and guide a hockey player along the way, from parents, coaches, managers, athletic trainers, chiropractors, doctors, strength and conditioning coaches, technical skating instructors, nutritionists, hockey IQ guys, or like me, an off-ice stick skills specialist. I want to introduce you to as many master coaches as I can, regardless of their discipline, so you'll eventually understand all of the different developmental puzzle pieces that are available to every hockey player, and then you can decide how many of them you're going to add to your journey. I've always been a person who's been in it to win it. Once I make a commitment to something, it's on, and I try to give my best effort most days so that I'm always closing the gap a little, making small gains each week, getting me closer to what I'm trying to accomplish. I block out the world during these stretches of time and start grinding. It's just how I'm wired. But what I've learned in my studies of highly successful people is that I'm not weird or an oddball. This is how you have to operate. You have to have an eye on the prize most days. You have to have a consistent routine. Budget weekly time pursuing the goal, take action, and put in the work. My hope is that you'll get inspired to dream bigger than you currently are and are motivated to do a little more than normal after listening to each episode. Lastly, let me leave you with this. I get contacted all the time by parents telling me that their kid is an exceptional skater, but their stick handling, shooting, and passing skills need a lot of work. It might seem like a mystery to most on how to develop elite level stick skills, but it's not to me because that's my area of expertise. If you want to learn more about what I do and how I've been helping players get really good with a stick and a puck, just head on over to OnlineHockeyTraining.com. There, you can gain access at no cost to you to my 10-part video series where I'll answer some important questions like, where do you develop your stick handling and shot in games or practices? Can you rely on your coaches to develop your stick skills? And how players are vulnerable if they have average hands, especially on the boys' side when checking starts. And young ladies, don't think you're immune because I've been to a ton of girls' hockey games over the years and it gets pretty physical out there as well. This is my gift to you, to provide anyone who's interested some super valuable information that you were unaware of previously, and when finished watching the entire series, my hope is that you'll have a different perspective on how players acquire elite level stick skills. Then, and only then, if you think I may be able to help you or your player, we can set up a 15 minute call, again at no cost to you, with me to see if we're a match. Just hit the pricing tab on the top toolbar at OnlineHockeyTraining.com, Additional Services, and schedule your no-obligation call today. Well, that's all I have for you for episode number one, the introduction of the Hockey Journey podcast. So if you're ready to begin, let's take this hockey journey together. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe. I hope to see you back here soon. And do me a favor, make someone close to you smile today. All the best, my friends.